TikTok, and speed bump. I'll demo and then we'll break it down. You do not need a pole for this move, but make sure you have enough clearance. Hello there, I'm Rochelle. I'm a certified pole fitness instructor with Stir University. When that mood you like, spirit moving, I loosen you up, you don't care who cares. Please consider subscribing if you enjoyed this tutorial and you want more like it. Don't forget to track your progress and your pole fitness tracker. I'll be sure to link that below. Hard to get right, me and limited. You just want to go where the rhythm is. Be in the crowd uninhibited. You can't lay low, so follow me, I obey. So I'll probably wake up holding my head. But I know what I get. So show stop or go knock on my house. You've been like champagne that shook up for days. Show stop or can't lock you down. Go get loose like you used to do. Heels are totally optional. Starting from a kneeling position, plant your palms nice and wide out in front of you. Think body wave as you dive head first towards the floor. I see how all of it's making you feel. Let's move to Finland, I think I'm for real. Let's go, let's go, let's go. First we need a drink and a rest though. So hips arrive last. You should end in a pose with your hands underneath your shoulders so you're already in alignment for when you need to come back up. And to come back out of the move, reverse it the way we came. So we're gonna start with our hips, but we're gonna go the scenic route because we're gonna tick tock. You're gonna push into the top of your feet, hips first. Pretend you have a marker or a bingo dauber on your hips and you're gonna dot the floor each side. Tick tock. Our hands are under our shoulders, elbows into our torso, head last. Roll up. If you're trying these moves on carpet and you need a little bit more slide, experiment with something like a paper plate or those little furniture sliders. Don't forget to train both sides. We want to avoid training without having a plan. I'm going to check in with my pole fitness tracker. I'll screen share that with you for this one. I won't be showing you the cues in every tutorial. I want to encourage you to make it your own. Take your own notes, enjoy your practice, get creative. The options are endless. You can simply put a check mark right in the date that you trained. You can color or you could use cute little pole fitness stickers, which are these little guys. The choose your own pole adventure folks. What are you doing next? What are you picking? We're all gonna start in the same place, but everybody should have a different combination. I wanna see what you come up with. Let me know how your adventure goes. What obstacles do you encounter and how do you overcome them? Thanks and enjoy your practice.